Muju. It's a little country city hidden away in the mountains of Korea. And honestly, I've never even heard of it until Austin from Eating What Is Given invited me on his team for a sponsored trip. And I know whenever we get together, the food is always special and amazing times are had. Like a tequila? Of course, yeah. I have, I have. Oh, it's this? <laughs> tequila, 100% tequila. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the good stuff. Cheers. 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 Mm -hmm. Wow, it smells good. I later found out that Muju was well known for a huge Taekwondo facility and the Firefly Festival that happens every fall. But on this trip, we were given the freedom to show anything we wanted. So I'll show you how we filled our bellies. Visiting this small city tucked away in the mountains, it quickly exposed its beautiful nature amazingly fresh and healthy foods only found in the mountains of Korea and its kind and generous local people has once again reminded me to explore Korea thoroughly because you might be surprised at what you find most of the time. It smells really strong. Is there more food coming? Whoa! We got more Our time in Muju started with a bit of searching and hiking. We went past all the typical tourist spots by the river and decided on a restaurant that is literally a hidden gem. It's a one hour hike up the river into the entryway of Dogyusa. So today we're in Muju and I'm very excited because today we're doing my first sponsored video and we're with travel shooting this weekend and we're gonna do a little Muju Machib tour and of course if I'm doing a Machib tour I'm with Austin. <laughs> Always. Austin where are we? Um, right now we we are about one hour hike into Dokyusan, Dokyusan. Yeah. and I wanted to show Sharif one of my favorite raw fish Songohue and what's interesting about Songhe is, is raw trout. Yeah, this is raw trout. And a lot of people who don't know might be like, how are you eating raw trout? Trout is not a saltwater fish. Um, actually, this fish is kind of dangerous to eat raw. So if you go and catch it in the wild, it's very easy to get parasites. But, but this is farm raised. Yeah. So in the middle of this mountain, there's a huge Songho farm and they feed the Songo probably some like fish food. So they're not eating mosquitoes, they're not eating bugs, which is where you get some parasites. In a controlled environment. Yeah, a controlled environment. And it's gonna be really quite different than saltwater seafood. It's definitely like a freshwater seafood taste. I've only had it in Korea, but Muju is known as a very clean area. And this restaurant is beautiful. It's right tucked up in the mountain. We hiked like an hour, that's where we're all sweating. Yeah, yeah. You get exercise plus a delicious meal. <laughs> the owner sliced the trout with ease and revealed the pink color that was surprisingly similar to grapefruit. Oh, my shit, that looks so good. Awesome. It looks like grapefruit. Yeah, it does. Mm. Yeah. So you guys, usually the sumohe is served with unjomi powder and some salad and you make some muchim. But this place, it's kind of like pared down. We just have onions, garlic, changyang gochu, and really beautiful homemade samjang. This looks awesome. Like a tequila? Of course, yeah. I have, I have. Oh, it's this? <laughs> This is like one of the coolest restaurants I've ever been to in my life. I am so happy with you. They're really nice people. They're gonna bring tequila and fried songo. Konde Urban. Cheers. Cheers. Muju Machip Tour. Muju Machip Tour. Thank you, travel shooting. Oh, yeah. Oh. Shiwanara. I'm in fact. Beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, isn't it good? 
It is a lot really like good. Yolmo, but no fat. Yeah, it's like a um, a less buttery salmon. Yeah. But it's still really clean tasting and nice. Um, oh, we got the fried one. Wow. Wow. That looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is going to be a good day. Wow. Yeah. That is awesome. Okay. Deep fried trout, man. So, in my hometown, it's not a huge seafood place, right? Yeah. yeah. The only seafood that they have that's popular is fried fish. So that bite took me back to my childhood. <laughs> that's the best when you eat food and it reminds you of your childhood. <laughs> Let's try it. That's Guys, we're gonna get some tequila and sungole. Cheers. 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 Wow, smells good. One shot? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's tasty. <clears throat> wow. No burn. They're so It wasn't even 5 p.m. and we had already consumed three different types of alcohol. It was going to be a very interesting day. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You can do it. Put it all. Oh, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah. Doesn't burn. Right. <laughs> this was just the beginning of the generosity of the people of Muju. In the next location of the day, we explore the world of mushrooms. I've eaten plenty of mushrooms in my day, but I've never seen most of these. So this is the second stop in the Muju Matcha tour. Now we're at a amazing mushroom place. Sandal. Dude, the banchan looks so good. Sorry. <laughs> no, the banchan does look so good. So we kind of have like a hot pot here with, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe like nine different kinds of mushrooms. We have beef and... It looks it looks like beef yeah. liver. Yeah. Oh, that's why yeah. they like that. Wow. So good. Chambok, chambok. Wow. This is so good. This is so good. is is yams. Mindalay. It's mushrooms, it's not. This is not beef liver, but it's called beef liver mushrooms. What do you think of the taste? Guys, this is exciting food because like I've never seen some of this banchan before in my life. Wow. This looks these look like mushrooms that you shouldn't eat. Well, I'm gonna eat it, man. So these are mushrooms, but it looks like beef liver. Eat it. You just gotta go for it. Oh, it's mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a mushroom, but it has a texture of beef liver. Ah, right now? Chicken? Oh, it smells good. Wow. In English, it's like lion's mane? Do. Delicious, whatever it is. Sure. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Mm. 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 Mm.
Dude, these are good. Wow. That is really good. <laughs> I've never had that texture before. It's just so fresh and like, ah. Oh, wow. Dude, mushrooms are like the most amazing. I love them. Mushrooms are like nature's wild card. Some are amazing and some will kill you. Yeah, it's just amazing that like we have our ancestors to thank for eating this. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna open up the mushroom wine. It smells really healthy, like hanyak, hanyak medicine. Like. We are drinking a lot. Mm. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's really good. It's amazing. <laughs> I agree. This is also a, a very unique place. Oh, well. yeah. Definitely. I've never seen that many mushrooms. We, of course, had to take advantage of that thick mushroom stock that was slowly reduced down. Buju is not really famous for mushroom, yeah. but the owner, he, he, he knows that mushroom is really good for his health. He opened up this restaurant, so this place is open, and then after, their business really worked well, and then the lots of restaurants restaurant. trying to follow this one, yeah. so yeah. That so it's getting happens. popular in this area. Oh, hot. <laughs> 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 that is so good! Like any juke, it's weird, the rice just amplified the mushroom taste. Mushroom taste times 10. Oh, wow. Go for it. You got it. I've never had anything like that. You got it. It's like, I was, I was literally gonna say mushroom times 10. <laughs> Another thing that I didn't know about Muju is that it produces wine with wild grapes. Oh, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. And travel shooting arranged for us to meet a wild grape wine producer. He was kind enough to give us a tour of the facilities and share dinner with us later. So we got 11 fermentation tanks. Wow, wow. So that's a lot. lot. Yes. We export some wine, but not the ones where we okay. export the pomegranate okay. mm -hmm. and blue, pomegranate blueberry, mm -hmm. blueberry. But we are using the wild grapes mm -hmm. and distillations, and we're going to use as a base okay. of the soap. Wow, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. wow. So they have wild grape soju, mm -hmm. base soju. Yeah. yeah. So we supply to the GS yeah. uh, oh. convenience oh. store. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, that smells good. Dude! We need some sul, sul piras. Mm. Sul. <laughs> so ready. It's on the car. Already ready? Yeah. Already ready. Yeah. <laughs> that looks really good. It felt like we were in a marathon of food and drink. I couldn't keep track of it all, and it was just amazing. This looks beautiful. It's gonna be good in another while. Great. She is the head chef. Right? Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, awesome. it's always a blast seeing Austin get overwhelmed by the banchan coming on the table. Oh my god. Okay. This is what? This is Okay. We had this in Jiri san. That's what I picked in Jiri san. Wow. This is a soybean leaf. I've never had this before. Wow. More and more. <laughs> oh my god. It's amazing. Sing chin. Sing chin. 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 So these dried and fresh. How often do you eat here? Almost oh, every day. <laughs> really every day? He's my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Is there more food coming? Whoa! Oh, we got more food coming. <laughs> Man, we've got bibimbap. We got chungukjang. They're literally feeding us every food, like every food possible. We're gonna be here all night. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got alcohol. We got food. Yeah. Why not? So we got some moru wine. This is muju wild grape wine. It is sweet, but it's not, it's very mild, like, like smooth. And Sometimes... A bitter taste at the end. Yeah, yeah. And I'm most excited about Bambit Moru, right? They make soju using wild grape spirits. This was only day one in Muju. All right. We ate so much, Cheers. drank so much, and learned even more. Thank you for watching this Full Belly Travels and Eating What Is Given collaboration video. And please check out my channel and Austin's channel. And please subscribe to our channel and, of course, Austin's channel as well. Thanks for watching.